let's talk about a new way to look at raising your vibration and two things you can do to make it so much easier. Hi, I'm Saratoga Ocean, Transformational Life Coach, Channel, and Author. And today I want to share with you a new way to look at raising your vibration along with two surprising things you can do to make that process a whole lot easier and so much simpler to maintain on an everyday basis. So let's start at the most important place. Let me share with you first the biggest mistake that people make when trying to raise their vibration. The mistake is this. They just try to start from where they are. Okay, I'm just going to raise my vibration. I don't know how I'm going to make that happen, but somehow I will figure it out. That's not the place to start. Let me tell you where you want to start. You want to start with the full acknowledgement that who you are is a being of light, a being of love. And this is the absolute truth of who you are. Now, let me explain why this is so important to understand, because this is your baseline. This is what gives you a way to measure and gauge how your vibration is. Is it in the place you want it to be to make you feel good, to help you to evolve, to assist you in making the positive changes that you most want to make in your life. So once you acknowledge that to yourself and really look within to make sure you get your own sense of this, don't just take my word for it, okay? The next thing you wanna do, and, and this next thing is gonna actually help you understand how it is the truth that you are a being of love and light. The next thing you want to understand is that your physical body, which is comprised of your mental thoughts, your emotions, and your overall physiology, your physical earth body is the medium through which you, the being of light, the being who is infinite and immortal, that is the medium through which you are able to express yourself in this world. So that's where I want you to start when you're um, taking this approach to raise your vibration. Understand exactly what it is you're trying to do and why. So here's the next thing. Once you just, that's the setup, that's where you want to begin. You're a being of light, you have this physical earth-based medium that includes your thoughts, your emotions, your mind, your brain, your physiology. That's your medium through which you express. Now that you have that established in your consciousness, the next thing you want to do is say, okay, am I able to fully express my true self through this medium? And this is where the condition of your vibration comes in. Now look at it this way, a high vibration is a match to love and light and positive energy. A low vibration is more of a match to things like negativity, unhappiness, sadness, depression, boredom, things like that. So there's a spectrum of energy from high to low because you in truth are a high vibrational being of love and light, your goal is to raise the vibration of your entire earth-based medium, this physical body that includes your emotions and everything that goes along with that, is to raise the vibrational frequency of that medium as close as you possibly can to match who you are as a light being. And this is the reason that it's so important to focus on raising your vibration. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about this. The lower your vibration, the more difficult it is to express who you really are. Because when your vibration is low, all of those negative feelings or negative thoughts or negative feelings in your physical body act as blocks 
to the radiant energy of who you are. Act as blocks to the energy of you as a being of love and light. So what you want to do, instead of dwelling on, oh, I don't feel so great, or I wish I felt better, I wish my life was easier, I wish I could make positive changes more easily, instead of dwelling on that, just stop and go back to the simplicity of what I'm telling you guys. All you have to do is recognize, just reconnect with who you really are. You are that being of love and light. Nothing can erase that, nothing can change that. That is, um, that is an ever-present state of being. Go back to that touchstone and recognize, oh, you know what? This earth-based medium that I, that I express through, live through, and experience through is at a very low vibration. That's why I'm not feeling so great. See, what makes you feel good is when your physiology, when your physical body, your mind, and your emotions are at a high enough vibration that you can express and experience life and this world as who you really are. It's really that simple, everybody. All you have to do is just stop and say, okay, I have to do something to raise my vibration so that my physical earth-based embodiment more readily conducts my beautiful energy of love and light, in which case I'm going to feel happy again. Okay, so if you can just remember that simple way of looking at it, and this is kind of a new way of looking at it, but it's so effective. It, there's so much more clarity that you will feel and you will be able to pull yourself out of, um, you know, those kind of darker moments that you're just not able to really go forward or you're confused or whatever. You'll just step back, get perspective on who you are and raise your vibration. So that's the first thing. Now, I'm going to share with you the two surprising things that you can do to make this a whole lot easier. So once you've assessed what's going on from the perspective that I am describing, from the perspective that of course I'm a being of love and light, of course I know who I am, but I'm not feeling so great because I'm unable to express myself because my vibration is a little bit too low, or maybe it's higher and you just want to make it better. So once you've assessed that, where you are vibrationally, and you can, by the way, do this just by being present in your body because your body is going to tell you where your vibration is, okay? But once you've done that, here is the next thing. Here are the two simple, amazing things. I want you guys to think about addition and subtraction. And I'm giving it to you in this way because it's so much easier to remember. So all you have to do once you've kind of assessed where you are is just say, all right, if I want to raise my vibration so that I feel better, I have more energy, I can express myself, I'm more clear, I'm happier, ask yourself this question. What do I need to subtract to free up my energy and or what can I add to enhance my vibration and support it raising up. Just remember at addition of subtraction. Now let me give you an example of what I mean. When I say subtraction, I'm talking about things like letting go. You could ask yourself, is there something I need to let go of? Is there something that I am dwelling on that's causing me pain, that's causing me to feel stuck? Um, maybe it's a story that you talk to yourself about. Maybe it's a story you tell about your life. Maybe you don't tell yourself a very good story about yourself or your life. Maybe you're judging yourself. Those are all things that you could say to yourself, you know what, if I subtract those things from my mind, from my consciousness, guess what that's going to do? Because remember, those things act as blocks to your energy. So if you say, I'm just going to subtract that, guess what that does? It frees up your energy. Now, this is a much easier way to let go because I have people ask me all the time, Saratoga, how do I let go of something? I have such a hard time letting go of this, that, or the other thing. Try shifting your perspective in the way that I'm describing here. And you might be surprised to find that it's so much easier and it makes so much more sense to you. It's a lot faster. So that's one example. 
example of, of um, subtraction. You might need to subtract a habit that you have that's not healthy, that's bringing your energy down, that's not supportive of your physical body. You might need to subtract, um, maybe there's certain um, relationships that you have or people you hang out with that are that are just a real downer you know they just make you feel bad when you hang around maybe there are people who complain a lot or gossip or something like that maybe that's something you need to subtract subtract meaning maybe i need to spend less time with those people maybe i you know maybe i need not to have those people in my life at this point in time so you can decide but if you just think this is one way i want you to do both of these okay but this is one thing you can do now let's talk to addition, that's subtraction. Addition, what could I add that will nurture a higher vibration? What can I add that will nurture my physical body, my emotions, or my mind? Maybe something you can add is, are things that inspire you. Maybe read things that inspire you. Listen to podcasts that inspire you. Watch videos that inspire you. Um, read books. Um, spend time with people that lift you up, that make you feel better about life, that have an optimistic view of life. That's an example of things you can add. Maybe you want to add positive habits. Maybe you need more sleep, for example. Um, or maybe you just need to eat better food, healthier food. Maybe you need to add more exercise or movement. Maybe you need to add affirmations so that you're thinking more positively. So all these things, or maybe you just, you know, sometimes you just need a little space. Maybe you need to add some space for yourself to have some quiet time to relax. So if you just remember those two words, addition and subtraction, what can I add? What should I subtract? It's almost like you're creating your own little equation that you can change from day to day, from time to time, that enables you to calibrate the level of your vibration and always keep it up. So the question you want to ask yourself, just to encapsulate all of this, well, let me just encapsulate from the beginning, okay? Start with you are a being of love and light. You are a high vibrational being whose nature is happiness, love, joy, inspiration, clarity of mind, creativity. That is who you are. That is unchangeable. Nothing can touch that. Nothing can destroy that. That is the foreverness of the real you. So you wanna be present as the real you in your life, in your physical body because that's the you that you wanna rely on to ascertain what is happening with your vibration. Secondly, understand that this physical embodiment, this earth-based embodiment, as I like to call it, because it is a part of the planet Earth, is the medium through which you experience life, you express yourself, and you live your life. So the condition of the vibration of this physical medium, including mind and emotions, is going to determine how much of that real you can experience life and express into life. The higher your vibration, the closer your vibration is to who you are as love and light, the better you're gonna feel, the happier you're gonna feel, because you are gonna find that your physical body, your mind and emotions are more aligned with the real you, and that's the key to happiness. It's really that simple. So that's your platform from which to understand this, and then all you have to do, if you need to make adjustments, which we all do, we need to adjust our vibration on a daily basis, um, all you have to do is say, okay, addition, subtraction. I'll just remember those two things. What do I need to subtract that is blocking my flow of energy, that is blocking my experience, whether it's my expression or my experience of the world? What do I need to subtract to free up that radiant light of who I am? And what might I add to support my energy, to support this medium and raise my vibration in that way? All right, so I hope that has been helpful for you guys. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share this video out with anyone you think would benefit, 
and like this video, leave me a comment below and let me know if you found this helpful. Also, let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to do a video on that would be helpful for you. What are your challenges <clears throat> when it comes to your spiritual development or your personal development? Um, just leave me a comment if there's anything in particular that you would like help with. All right, so I will leave you with that. Much love, everyone. Sending you tons of positive energy, love, light, and namaste. Blessings to everyone.